Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you enjoy this video and I also hope that you subscribe. So today's video is a very quick one. I am just going to be reviewing Gershon's Poly Gel in Natural Pink. Um, I did kind of start doing a design in this video. I wasn't really liking the direction the design was going, but I do have a lot of thoughts on this poly gel. So um, I was sent this poly gel just to see what I thought of it. Um, I'm not being told what to say. And I say that because um, this is a positive review. Um, I was just sent this poly gel. I wasn't asked to do a YouTube video. I was just sent to see my thoughts. So I did decide to do a YouTube video because content. Anyway, so that's how um, I just un unpackaged the poly gel. Um, it is very soft. That was my initial thoughts. I didn't have to use a spatula, but also it is very soft because it's um, pretty cold in my house right now. It's about 65 degrees in my house. Um, it's springtime, but it's it's a pretty cold day today. So the poly gel didn't firm up or anything. So I did have an air bubble in there. So that's what you see me doing um, as I swatch it. So this is just me um, doing a quick swatch because I like to have swatches of all my products. So I'm just making my own little swatch here. And initially I had my flexi hand out. I was gonna do a whole design. I just didn't fool with gluing on tips. I didn't I didn't feel like doing all that. So I ended up just using my nail stand. And what I did was I put down a base coat and I added some glitter to that base coat. I will, um, I believe I show the glitters again. They're two colors by Young Nails and then some Mylar Flakes. And I'll leave the colors in the description box below as well. So what I wanted to do is, you know how like the glitter is underneath the nail and then the product's on top and you can tell it's glitter but it looks kind of matte? So that's what I was trying to do here. However, this particular poly gel is too opaque for that. So the reason my design didn't come out is just the um, the opacity of the poly gel, nothing to do with the product at, uh, at all. So you can see here that this is very easy to spread. This is a very soft poly gel. It's easy to manipulate, but it is not sticky at all. So I generally don't like a soft poly gel. Um, because usually they're kind of sticky. A lot of them are sticky, but this one wasn't sticky at all. So I didn't mind it being soft. And the brush that I'm using, the poly gel brush that I'm using is my McCart um, poly gel brush. It's my favorite one. So what I decided to do here was put a little bit um, more glitter because it was just, um, because how opaque the poly gel was. So I thought if I added more glitter, then you can, um, and a thin, another thin layer of poly gel that it would actually give the design that I wanted. And on the other tips that are down below, I added more glitter the first time on those four tips than I did on this one tip. So that's, um, on the other ones, I just did one layer of poly gel. Either way I did it, this poly gel is too opaque for the design that I wanted. But um, the tube is a 60 milliliter tube, so that's two ounces, and I would cure each layer for about two minutes. So I did notice that just curing the this poly gel for 60 seconds, once I started to file some of the, um, the tips, that it wasn't fully cured. So I had to put them back in the lamp, and I put them back in for another 60 seconds. So I would probably cure this um, from 90 to 60 seconds, I'm sorry, for 90 seconds to 120 seconds, a minute and a half to two minutes just to ensure a full cure. And this is an opaque poly gel, so you will have to cure it a little bit longer depending also on how thick the poly gel is. And another thing is I did have that glitter um, in between those layers, so it might not have penetrated all the way through. However, just cure this poly gel a little bit longer than your normal poly gels. So I did like working with it. Like I said, it is soft, but it's not sticky. I did not have to use a lot of alcohol. I used the 91% alcohol to spread everything out. 
and I didn't have to wet my brush very often. So all in all, I do like the way that this poly gel applies. I would probably not do, if I were to do a set using this on myself, I definitely wouldn't do um, this design that I tried to do in this video. I would probably try and do my glitter fade a different way, but I'm gonna have to watch some more videos and see how to get that look that I'm talking about. So if you guys know any channels, um, if you understood what look I was talking about and you know any good videos, Please, please, please um, shout out the channels in my shout shout, uh, shout out the channels in my comments below. Or if you have a video that you just watched or whatever and want to leave me a link, that is fine too. I would love to get this design because it's so pretty. So essentially, it's just where the glitter underneath the product looks matte. So I don't know how to get that look. And I don't know the right search terms. So I will figure it out. But I cannot wait to get that design done because I will probably end up with that on my nails. Anyway, so this is how everything came out. I didn't really get the look I was going for. This first one here, that's the one I did the two layers of glitter. Um, this poly gel also was pretty easy to file. All the filing that I'm doing is with um, the 100 grit file. This is a dual ended 100, 180 grit files. These are my favorite um, by McCart. But um, I just used the 100 side and I was able to smooth out the top. It didn't need very much because I was able to get that smooth. And then just to shape up the nail um, a little bit. And after that, I ended up buffing I ended up buffing it with um, a file you guys have seen me use before. I think it was a hundred one. It's a one eighty one hundred buffer too. So all in all, I really do like this poly gel. Um, I will probably end up doing a full set on myself, but I do have some products in front of it that I want to use on myself. So it might be a while before I get around to doing this on myself. But for again, for the most part, I really do like this poly gel. I did look this up on Amazon and these two ounce tubes, um, they have them individual so you don't have to buy the whole kit. They have them in a few colors on Amazon and the price is about $15 to $17 each, which is good because you will get a lot of sets out of this. I did go in and top coat with my Model 1's top coat. The base coat I used was Model 1's as well. And the glitters that I'm using are by Young Nails. One was a fine glitter and that was in Diamond Dust. And the other one was um, a small loose glitter. It's not a medium, but it's not a fine either. And that was in Crushed Pearl. So that was from Young Nails. That was Diamond Dust and Crushed Pearl. So um, this really isn't a design video just more so of how the poly gel applies and spreads filing it which all are very positive things so in my opinion the only thing that I would suggest is just to cure it a little bit longer if you do get this poly gel that is opaque this is the first time um I've ever used Gershon so I don't know if all of their poly gels cure longer or just their ones that are opaque which really didn't um bother me any so um thank you guys for watching please make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon for another video thank you